Yeah, well, it's off to a chilly start this morning, but Darren, I'm hearing that there's kind of some heat in our forecast. Yes, Saturday, Devin, is going to be almost identical to Friday, and I will show you the details on your Saturday coming up in one second, but I'm going to start with Monday because that is the real headline of this forecast. The heat advisory shows you the area that are included in the heat advisory is the North Bay and the East Bay. It's an interesting map because the city, the peninsula, and the East Bay proper, like with access to the water, not included in the heat advisory. But as you come in for a close-up look here, you'll see it's inland parts of the Bay Area that need to be focused on this, because watch what happens when we switch from heat advisory to excessive heat warning. That's where the real intense heat's gonna be. But since we've got so many communities here that are in that, uh, what we would consider inland parts of the Bay Area, where you really feel this, let's focus on you first for Memorial Day. Watch what happens. This is the weekend. So today, 78 degrees. That's why I said Saturday's no big deal. It's going to be just like yesterday. Sunday's noticeably warmer. Sunday's the day you notice something's going on. And then Monday is when we peak. And then that's when we get into heat advisory territory, meaning this heat's coming on so fast. If you're not paying attention and going easy on yourself outside, staying hydrated, finding the shade, uh, getting in the air conditioning often, going from 78 degrees on Saturday to 104 on Monday, that can and likely will have heat-related illness impacts for those who are either can't really kind of protect themselves from this or aren't thinking about it. If you're in the immediate bay, it's still a big warm-up. We're going to go from 66 today to 88 on Monday. Think of like Oakland. You know, these, this would be good representative numbers for that part of the bay that has access to the water. It's still going to be near 90 on Monday. And near the beaches, 56 today, 71, which means it's going to be a perfect beach day on Monday, and it's probably going to be crowded. All right, as far as how close to records we are, it's since we're doing the extreme here for our inland communities, I've got you on the screen here, Concord, Livermore, Sonoma, Santa Rosa, San Jose, and San Rafael. Here are the specific daytime highs for those communities. And if we look at how close we're going to be to records, I can put that comparison over on the right. And it is close, but we've only got about one location on here that will likely actually break the record at Santa Rosa. Still, it's not much consolation if you miss the record by a couple of degrees when you go up 20 to 25 degrees in just a two-day period. It's going to be a big adjustment for Monday. Meanwhile, if you look at today, you can see why I didn't start with Saturday because Saturday, you know what the weather is going to be. It's going to be just like it was yesterday and the day before that. It'll be in the upper 50s at the beaches, upper 60s in the bay, and in the low 80s for most of our communities who are over in those inland locations. By the way, it is gray out there this morning. You can see how widespread that is when we take a look at the marine layer. It's all the way into the Tri-Valley. I showed you that at the top of this newscast. That's all going to melt back to the immediate coast by the time we get into the early afternoon. And then it should be sunshine for most other locations. There's the rest of your seven-day forecast. What happens after Monday's heat? Well, we get a nice cool down. It's still hot on Tuesday, but it's not nearly as hot as Monday. And it's what's real interesting about this, Devin, is this first heat wave is going to come on so fast. And it's going to be focused specifically on the first big holiday of the summer when so many people already have their outdoor plans. And a lot of people will be taken off guard by this. And that's really the main concern in this forecast. Yeah, I knew the heat was coming. I was having some difficulty kind of squaring it with how today began. But it makes sense that tomorrow and then Monday are when we see the big jumps in temperature. Think of it as two large steps on a staircase and you're all the way at the top already uh, by Monday. Yeah.